Jack Turner, your friendly filmmaker, and today, today is a different type of video. As you can see, I'm in my car, so there's no nice bricks behind me, there's no park, there's no backyard, there's no, nothing pretty. And I'm doing this video on the go, and I feel like I just had to do it, and I'm going to tell you why. So about two years ago when I bought my house, I inherited a lawnmower. It was in the shed, started right up. The only problem with it was the self-propel on the lawnmower never worked. So I just kind of dealt with it and I just felt like, you know, pushing this lawnmower around is a good workout. It's good for my arms, you know what I mean? It's good for my legs, it's good for the core. Not bad. Yeah, you do that for two years, you get a little tired. And you, you, you just rather have the self propel work so it's a little easier to operate. So I initially thought, well, maybe the cable, maybe that cable needs to be tightened. And it turns out that that was not the problem. And as you can see, when I pull on that, that, that handle, that pulley moves to the furthest point of the lawnmower. So there's nothing wrong with that cable at all. It doesn't need to be tightened. And then I thought, okay, well, the belt. The belt must be loose. It must need to be changed. So I changed the belt, and that did not help whatsoever. Matter of fact, I tried multiple belts because I figured, well, maybe the one I, I bought was effective, so let me buy another one. No, not the belt. Now, this model, this is an older model Toro. This is a 22-inch recycler. I think it's a 2002 to 2008. I don't know what year was made exactly, but it's in that range. So it's one of the older ones. And I just can't find out any information about it. So eventually what I did find was there was like a Toro dealership in my area. Uh, so it was out in Latham, New York. I think it's called Grassland. Is it Grassland Irrigation? I can't remember. But just look up here somewhere. I'm going to put the name of this place. Because if you guys are in my area and you need help with a Toro, they can help you. I went in there. I spoke to a guy. His name was John. Um, and I told him what was going on. I told him what I already did. And then he was like, well, Mike, did you try the, uh, I think he called it the blade driver. I think he said it was the blade driver. And again, I may be making mistakes about the exact technical name. If I am, I'm going to put it right there so you can see what it's called. And he said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you try that? And I'm like, I don't even know what you're talking about. And he's like, he explained it to me. And he's like, well, that piece that fits on the, the, the shaft where the blade turns it can wear down in time, and if that wears down on you, he's like, I don't care what belt you put on there, it's never going to work. And I was like, all right, well, I was like, I'm thinking, I'm like, well, how much is this thing, right? It's going to be like $80 for this thing. He's like, oh, no, it's 18 bucks. 18 bucks. I buy the thing, I put it on, boom! Lawn mower self-propels, and I'm going to show you how I changed it. Check it out. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your socket wrench, and you're going to take... The bracket off of the blade I believe it's a 15 millimeter socket that does this but I don't remember exactly you're gonna see that the blade is gonna want to turn when you're trying to loosen the the bolt so you're gonna have to wedge something in there like a piece of wood in order to get it to stop then you're gonna want to undo the two bolts that hold in the belt guard um, I typically just take one of the bolts off and then loosen the other one and swing it out of the way then you can take the belt off of the blade driver and then once you do that you'll just pull the blade driver off inside of the blade driver there's going to be a spacer you're going to want to keep that because you're going to need to install that into the new blade driver and you also notice that there's a little notch inside the the um, blade driver that's going to help you get it in the proper position on the shaft and also help you get the spacer in on um, the proper way you'll figure it out when you see it all right, so now when you're reinstalling the new blade driver, I mean, you could put a little grease on the shaft so that it doesn't rust. Um, but honestly, I mean, mine wasn't rusted on there at all, and I don't think there was any grease on it. So then you just install the new one, push it in, you know, put the belt on the, the, the blade driver, and just do everything in reverse. Reattach the blade with the bracket, attach the bolt to the blade driver, and then attach the belt guard. And basically that's it. I mean, just tighten everything up, start it up, 
press on that uh, lever and you're going to see those wheels turn. So there it is. If you're having the same problem or you know someone who's having the same problem, be sure to share this video. Uh, it may help them out. Please like this if it helped you out. And I guess that's about all. I'm Mike Turner. Thanks for watching. And I guess I'll see you soon.